Hey, thanks for watching Kentucky State Parks Recreation Station. My name is Cody Gross and I'm coming to you today from Del Hollow Lake State Resort Park. Now spring has sprung and you may have noticed outside it's starting to get warmer. The birds are singing, the flowers are blooming, and the ticks are crawling. So I'm gonna teach you today how to prepare for the outdoors, prevent getting ticks on you um, so that they don't interfere with your spring outings. Ticks are external parasitic arachnids. So they have to have blood from an animal in order to molt or move up to the next stage in their life cycle. So typically a tick is gonna have a blood meal from three different animals to complete its life cycle. Now during a blood meal, a tick can pick up pathogens from infected hosts. If this happens, in turn, the tick will become infected and it can actually transmit this disease to its next host. So not every tick has the ability to transmit disease and usually a tick has to be feeding on you for several hours in order to even transmit that disease. So the black-legged tick or the deer tick, the lone star tick, and the American dog tick are likely to be the three types of tick you encounter in Kentucky. This is what they look like in their adult female form. Um, and this is how the size compares to one another. So you can see compared to my hand, they're still pretty small. Um, and these are the adult ones. So there is an adult black-legged tick or deer tick. Um, this is a female Lone Star Tick, which is easy to recognize because of that white dot. And then this one is an American Dog Tick. Tick larvae are commonly referred to as seed ticks or turkey mites. Those are actually baby ticks. They're not picky about where they attach. And if you walk through an area where they have recently hatched out, you can end up with hundreds on you. When ticks are looking for a blood meal from an animal, they will um, exhibit a behavior known as questing. So they will climb to the top of a blade of grass or a weed, and they'll hold on with their lower legs, and then their upper legs will stretch out, and they wait until an animal walks by. And then just like a piece of Velcro, they have these little hooks on the end of their legs, and they will grab hold. So there are a couple of things that you can do before you go out um, to help prevent getting these ticks on you. The first thing that you can do is make sure that you're wearing light colored clothing that makes um, seeing a tick a lot more easier to spot. Um, the second thing is you can treat your gear, your clothing, or even your skin with an EPA approved insect and tick, tick repellent. Um, so something like permethrin or a DEET product. Um, is what most people will use. Just make sure that you read the label carefully and follow the manufacturer's instructions. When you do get home, you're gonna take your clothes off and put them in the dryer on high for about 10 or 15 minutes. That's gonna kill any ticks that you did not find before you got home. And then take a shower immediately. You also want to perform a tick check. Tick checks are very important. Um, a tick check is when you check your body for ticks. So ideal locations to check would be the backs of your knees, around your waist, your armpits, belly button, your scalp, anywhere that would be a tight nook for a tick to get into. If you have dogs or cats, don't forget to treat them as well. So ticks have barbed mouth parts, kind of like a fish hook. Uh, that and a glue-like substance that they secrete help cement them in place so they're not going to accidentally get brushed off. A tick feeds very slowly so usually it's going to be on there for days in order to obtain that full blood meal. So it's in there to stay. Um, so how are you going to get that off? The easiest way and you can actually buy special tick removal tools um, but plain tweezers work just as well as anything. So you're gonna take your tweezers and you are going to grab as close to the skin as possible to your skin and you're gonna get a firm hold. You don't wanna squeeze so tight that you um, crush the tick. And you're gonna pull straight out. 
Um, you don't want to, you don't want to twist. You don't want to bend because that could cause the mouth part to break off um, inside of you. You do not want to hold a lighter up to them or put alcohol on them while the tick is still attached because that may make the tick release, but it could also cause the tick to regurgitate inside of you, um, causing more damage than, than not. So once you get your tick removed, you're gonna clean the site really well. Um, if you happen to develop a rash or fever, severe headache within the next week, um, make sure you do contact your doctor. So again, early detection and prevention are key in preventing ticks now that the seasons are starting to get warmer. So use what you know and don't be afraid to enjoy this beautiful spring weather. Again, my name is Cody Gross coming to you from Dale Hollow Lake State Resort Park. Thank you for watching this episode of Kentucky State Parks Recreation Station.